Hey everybody, I'm Tim here with the Henry Clay Warhawk. And you're watching Cigars Daily. Help us future-proof Cigars Daily when you watch these videos on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you can find extra content and videos, coupon codes, and even leave your rating for cigars like this one right next to mine under each review video. So I've been familiar with Henry Clay for a long time, but this one really jumped on my radar a few weeks ago when I ran a promotion and gave a bunch of these away and instantly got calls from people saying, I like getting them for free, but why don't you guys carry them? We didn't have them in our catalog and it made people go bonkers. And I wondered like, what is it about this cigar that people are so offended that we don't have it? And Maybe we should have it, like for sure, if people want it, that's the goal. Carry the cigars that people want. This guy right here, of course, I know Henry Clay is a popular name in the cigar world. People know it, they trust it, they like it. But typically, Henry Clay cigars are stronger stuff. Like Henry Clay's original blend comes with this really nice, rich, bold, broadleaf wrapper, which is... Definitely different than what you got here in the Warhawk. This bad boy uses an Ecuador Connecticut wrapper leaf over a Connecticut broadleaf binder. Very mild wrapper leaf, very bold binder leaf, and then Honduran fillers underneath. I'm told that this is one of the cigars that really breaks the mold of the lighter the wrapper is, the milder the cigar is. Supposedly, this thing's got some strength, strength that might even sneak up on you, so we'll be watching for that as we jump right in. I really want to see with this cigar, though, what the flavor profile has to offer it's not like a four or five different country blend how interesting how intricate and deep of a flavor can you really get with a cigar like this and the only way to find out is with a cut in the light What an, a nice open draw, first of all. Like, a cigar that's very easy to pull smoke through is very easy to enjoy for me if the flavor's there. And to start, this has that. Right out the gate, first impressions is a lot of citrus. Really vibrant citrus on the tongue. That really, even as the flame of the lighter is still to the foot of the cigar and I'm taking my first puffs, I'm just getting really rich citrus. But then the retro hill comes with a really nice cedar note and it's basic up front, but still pretty dynamic. Woods and citrus are two very different types of notes that in this blend, and go together very well and so plenty happening but some room to grow let's jump into the first third see where this takes us a very interesting first third with this thing not a bunch of new notes jumping into the mix here with like a free-for-all wrestling style event. It's still pretty simple. Still nice cedar on the retro hill. Really brilliant citrus, which a lot of times when I get citrus, it can fall away early on or become stronger. This is still very much citrus out front. A little bit of vanilla in this flavor. That's a really, really nice addition to this. But overall, there is this underlying strength to this thing. Like... I would still say mild in terms of flavor profile and the notes that I'm getting. They're all like Connecticut notes. There's nothing like coffee and chocolate and kick you in the teeth type full strength stuff. But at the same time, there is this definite kick to it. Like I get a nice bite in the back of my throat that comes from that extra strength. That's typically where I can tell when there's like extra nicotine. I feel that it's almost like a buzzing in your mouth. I don't know if you've ever gotten that before. Comment if you had, but through and through right now, this is delivering both on a really nice, robust flavor profile, even though it's not exceedingly complex and a really nice strength that's not overwhelming or too strong for me. And I'm kind of a wuss about this stuff. So really great. Let's take it into the second third and see where this takes us. All the way through the second third where I just lost the ash on this a minute ago. Really nice, creamy, strong, but mild flavor with one new note, one new addition in here, and that's cinnamon on the back of the tongue rolls through really nicely and fills out that profile that's like really robust from the light up. So now there's cedar. There's that really nice forward citrus note that's still... It sort of outweighs the rest of the flavor. Like I get citrus more than just about anything with vanilla and cinnamon in the background. Well-rounded flavor that is still creamy at this point as I head into the final third. Now take a look at the wrapper on this with me. 
Ecuador, Connecticut leaves like this are typically this color, but I gotta say, this thing is smooth, it has no bruising on it, there's no defects in this leaf, and from cigar to cigar in the box, they're consistently this good looking. The cigar comes with a beautiful triple cap on the top, great visible sign of construction, and Henry Clay's kind of classic presentation at this point, like when you see a Henry Clay, it's easy to identify, and I love that Warhawk on there too. All around, good cigar up to this point, now let's take it into the final third to see how much flavor this holds on to. It's offered so much that I don't normally get from a Connecticut at this point that I just want to hold on to as much of that as I can for as long as I can. So let's jump into the final third and see where this takes us and what kind of score it gets. Okay, moment of truth here. It all comes down to this, the very end of the stick, where it sort of wins or loses for those consistency points. That just means how much of the flavor do you get right from light up and how long does it last through to the very last puff. And right here, a lot of flavor still hanging around. The profile suffers a little bit as strength goes up in the final third, but really what I've lost is cinnamon. I've lost vanilla, citrus still very much there. That cedar note is a little harder to pick out on the retro hill, but... What I was looking to not get was like just a bunch of coffee or heat or even bitterness, like the really bad stuff that makes you say, okay, I'm done with this. Like this has been good every puff through and through. My final smoking time on it has been an hour and 14 minutes on this Robusto size and my score came out to a 91. Henry Clay makes some really good cigars. This is probably my favorite among them. Really nice Connecticut experience that would, had some strength, but also a profile that's not just your run-of-the-mill Connecticut cigar. All around good. But of course, what really matters here is what you guys think about this. So if you've had the Henry Clay Warhawk, please do drop a comment down below and let everybody know what you think of it because we'll all learn better when we learn together. And check out this video on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.